there is an abandoned old weather station. And uh, suddenly we saw some movement on the island. And first what we saw was a head of polar bear right in the window of one of the buildings. Uh, we were so surprised. And then we saw more bears. We saw maybe 20 or 30 of them roaming around the island. The ice caps are melting and polar bears have to go close to the villages to get some food. And uh, the situation is really dangerous for both sides. We're definitely seeing more photographs of the threats that wildlife are facing. And the images are really reflecting those kinds of crises and the things that are happening in the world today. And really beautiful pictures can really get you to have that emotional connection to a subject. And also that motivation to, to try and make some changes. For me, Photographing a spectacle bear has always been a great challenge because that bear is a very elusive animal and difficult mammal to see. As a child, these bears were animals that live in the depths of the paramos and you will never expect to see them. I could not believe how much this had changed, how much we have invaded these natural spaces. The photo shows the devastation we have caused by destroying their habitats and how this is driving them towards extinction. So we often think of climate change as the biggest threat to us now because it's in the news. But actually habitat loss, landscape alteration are huge threats as well. Human beings taking land for our own use that was previously occupied by other species. All of this destroys habitat where other species live. It also pushes many species, larger species, closer to us. It's not a sort of classic wildlife photo. You see a piece of coltan, and then they suddenly see the gorilla skull, vertebra, and, and a leg bone. And of course, coltan is used for digital devices, for telephones, for laptops and it's basically sourced in an unsustainable way. And poorly paid miners have to resort to bushmeat in order to feed themselves. You know, I mean, everybody who bought uh, a digital device has been part of this. When you find yourself working with customs or special agents, often I arrive and I just feel overwhelmed with what I see and uh, the crimes behind all of this, the suffering behind all of this. And of course I walk around and I think like, well, who would do this? I remember very vividly where a special agent said to me that there was an, an elephant um, foot. Uh, I photographed footstools before and I've seen them before and that was shocking in itself. But then there was an elephant leg and I kind of said, oh, so what's this? And he said it was sold as a bin. And you know, these are the moments where I just really feel ashamed to be human. We were exploring the waters around Portugal and we were really excited to see a baleen whale, especially at that time of the year. There weren't many baleen whales around normally. It is really hard to find the words to express my feelings about seeing such a beautiful creature. But when we came closer, we saw it behaving a little unusually. We saw a fishing net was stuck in the mouth of the whale. We were free diving down and tried to cut it out. But the whale was moving too fast and diving too deep. It was really heartbreaking. Uh to realize we had to let the whale go and not be able to help it. There are so many things which are affecting our oceans now in, in a detrimental way, um, whether it's sand pollution, 
plastics, other kinds of debris, rising sea temperatures. All of these things can have an effect on the animals living in those very complex food webs. And the kind of imbalance that could be created by the loss of those large whale species, those keystone species, could be absolutely catastrophic. It may cause a situation where one species can dominate. It, it was a really surreal experience diving amongst these jellyfish. The whole ocean was just full of them. And then, you know, seeing this uh, dead sea lion on the ground, it was very uh, ethereal and kind of surreal. And another sea lion came out of nowhere, paused above it for maybe 10 seconds, looking right at it, and then swam back the way it had come. Studies have shown that jellyfish are on the rise globally. They're able to survive the warming waters. Uh, in contrast, the prey of many marine mammals, like sea lions, are declining. Fish stocks around the world are suffering due to global warming, but also due to human overexploitation. And so you can imagine a future where there are more and more jellyfish and fewer and fewer big marine mammals, like sea lions. Our planet is dying. It's really suffering from so many different things happening at once. This exhibition is a way of us showing these really powerful images to as many people as possible. And hopefully that will create advocates for the planet. They're like snapshots reflecting what could it be in our not so distant future. The world, as we know, is very fragile, and uh, the current state of the world, from the uh, political conflicts to nuclear tension and climate crisis, these things are real. And if they continue as they are, the outcome can be catastrophic.